Hey everyone, if you have a problem with your Wi-Fi disconnecting on any Mac, on iMac, on a Mac laptop, I'm going to show you exactly what to do to fix that problem in this video and it's worked for me every single time I've had this problem in the past. And it's a pretty straightforward process. Just follow these steps that I'm going to show you in this video and I'll put all of them in the description below so it's a little bit easier to follow. So first things first, you want to open system preferences. Now it's usually down here on the dock, so you could go ahead and press it and open it this way, or you could press the search icon up here on your Mac and type in system preferences and then double click to open it. Now on this page, you want to go to the network tab, click that, that's step two. And step three is choose your Wi-Fi right here, this Wi-Fi connected Wi-Fi. It doesn't matter if it's connected or not, just select this and then network name, choose the network that you're having problems with. If you don't see that network on the list of dropdowns, all you have to do is turn off Wi-Fi here and then turn it back up and hopefully it should connect here or select it from the dropdown here. And then the rest of it, leave it exactly like I have. So automatically join Wi-Fi is checked on. These are off and show Wi-Fi in the status bar is on. For step four, we're gonna click advanced here and in the advanced menu here, you're on the Wi-Fi tab by default, but go to TCP IP, click this icon. Step six, you wanna click renew DHCP lease. Select that, and then it should gray out. Now that you've renewed this lease here, go ahead to the Wi-Fi tab one more time. And under all these network names, we're gonna go ahead and erase all of them. Now, it's gonna erase the one we are also having problems with, so we'll have to reconnect to it. So for step seven, which is deleting all these network names, make sure you know your Wi-Fi password before you do this, because it's gonna ask you later to reconnect. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and select one of these, and then I'm gonna hold down shift and select the rest, and now I could press just delete on my keyboard, or press the minus sign here, and it's gonna ask me to delete them all. So I'm gonna apply to all, and remove all of them here. And I should have a blank page right here. And now I'm gonna press OK down here for step eight and press apply, that's step eight. Now step nine requires another application that's on your Mac and that's called Keychain Access. So I'm gonna to go to the search option here on the top and I'm gonna type out Keychain Access. This is the application, it has a key icon, double click it to open it. For step 10, select system right here and for step 11, sort kind. That's step 11, it's gonna sort it by application password. That's what you wanna see on the top right here. Now, when you sort by kind, if you still have anything called airport network password, it will show up on top here in alphabetical order. So go ahead and select those and press delete. I've already deleted mine, so they're not gonna show up here, but just in case you have any, you should delete them on this page as well. Again, make sure you have your password because from the previous step where we deleted it on our system preferences and here, it's gonna ask you to put it in again. Now, finally, I'm gonna close this and go back to the system preferences here. And then again, from this home page of system preferences, I wanna go to network. And now I should be on the Wi-Fi tab, but it's not lit green because I'm not connected to anything. I deleted them all. So I'm gonna make sure this is turned on and I'm gonna choose my Wi-Fi this time again from scratch. So it should auto detect my Wi-Fi. If it's not doing that, you should really reset your Wi-Fi router or modem if it's not showing up here. That's just, you could unplug the actual device. But if it does show up, go ahead and select it. And then as I said before, it's gonna ask for your password. So type in your password. Then you could go ahead and press join. And just like that, it should be connected to your Wi-Fi. We're just gonna do two more things to make sure it doesn't disconnect us. This should solve the problem so far. But let's go back to the system preferences homepage here. So I just press the arrow to go back one step. And on this page, this is step 14. We're gonna click energy saver, select that option. And you wanna make sure yours is exactly like mine. Sometimes when it puts the hard disk or enable power nap is turned on, the computer actually disconnects you from the Wi-Fi. So if all these are off, prevent computer from sleeping is on, and then display is all the way to never, it's gonna help you from not disconnecting to the Wi-Fi here. So make sure all those options are selected and then you could exit here.
And if you follow all those steps, it should solve your Wi-Fi disconnection problem. I hope you found this useful and it solves your problem. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe for videos just like this posted every single day. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.